Freedom is an important value in our culture. We strive for freedom and are proud to call ourselves the land of the free. Those all around the world who are in bondage seek to be free from their oppressors, whether it's another person, a situation, or even a crippling emotion. Freedom is a great thing. Jesus said in John 8, 36, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I've often thought about this verse and what it means to be free. So today, I wanna to spend a few minutes considering that very thing with you. What does it mean to be free? Our culture has a definition of freedom that says, you are free when you can do whatever you want without anyone telling you otherwise. People will say, what's the big deal as long as no one's getting hurt? We tend to think of freedom as absence of obligation. We give lip service to the law, but only those laws that we think will benefit us. There's two faulty assumptions with this definition of freedom though. First, when we are only concerned with our own desires, someone is always going to get hurt. And second, this definition of freedom fundamentally misunderstands who we are as humans. By saying that we want to be free from the control of someone or something, we succumb to the control of the worst oppressor of all, our own whims and desires. Imagine if the controlling factor in your life was what you wanted at any given moment. Would that be beneficial or even freeing for that matter? This definition of freedom misunderstands what it really means to be free by stating that absolute freedom means no regulation or obligation on us as individuals. It longs for there to be no code of conduct, no moral law. But let me ask you this question, is God free? God's very character requires a code of conduct, and yet it would be foolish to say that God is not free. Those who say that freedom is the ability to do whatever we want are not looking for freedom. They are looking to be their own God, and in doing so, become slaves to themselves. Well, if culture doesn't correctly define freedom, what does Jesus mean when he says, the Son will set you free? If you read the rest of John 8, you will see that biblically, Freedom means that we are no longer under the power of sin and death. We have been freed from ourselves and the lies that the devil has caused us to focus on, focus inwardly, and we have been freed to live a life that is honoring to God through the strength that he gives us. This is true freedom. Freedom from being slaves to our sinful desires. Freedom from the wickedness in our hearts. Freedom from the death that is the result of such sin. True freedom is the ability to live for God based on his perfect code of conduct. Why? Because in God, there's no oppression. But oftentimes we read this verse and don't feel very free. I know I've felt that way many times and I've asked God, why do I still feel stuck? Why am I still bound in this habit? Why am I still stuck in this state of mind? Well, we need to realize freedom is a process. It's a journey that we're all on. We must learn to walk in this freedom that has been given to us. We are free, but we must learn to walk in that freedom. How do we do this? The key is found a couple verses earlier in John 8, 31 and 32. Jesus said, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Remember, a part of this freedom is being free from the lies of the devil so that we can see the truth. The more we learn the truth about who God is and how he wants us to live, the more we begin to walk in that freedom. So if you want to truly be free, begin by diving into God's word and exploring the ultimate freedom that he offers. Because in knowing God, we find true freedom.